What is up, my friend? Welcome to episode number 101 of the Anthony Joining This Podcast. And today I want to talk about like how to reprogram your subconscious mind. So you're at a place where like you're experiencing certain things over and over and over again. Uh, maybe it's conversations with certain people, or maybe it's a certain events that are happening in the business. And every time you experience that type of event, you're like, oh, I guess it's creating a little drain, a little bit of stress. And you want to get back to a place of power where, you know, you can create some like full on goodness. So back, relax and enjoy the show. Welcome to the Anthony John Amix podcast. The one and only podcast designed to help you become unstoppable in life and business. My name is Anthony John Amix. My friends call me AJ. And my goal with this podcast is to help you remember who you truly are so you can maintain your center in the chaos, embody your potential and unlock freedom in your life and business. That being said, let's get into today's show. All right, welcome back. Now, before we hop into today's topic, uh, if you're at a place where you want to take your personal brand to the next level, uh, like if you just like really want to rewire and transform your entire way of being in 90 days or less so you can evolve into a market leader, a trusted authority, and just like an expert in your niche, I'd really highly encourage you to go check out trainingwithaj.com. There's a free training over there. You don't even have to opt in for it. <laughs> like you can just go over there. You don't have to register. The training is boom, right there on that page, trainingwithaj.com. Um, man, it's a super, super powerful training. It is 52 minutes and four seconds, uh, life-changing training if you really want to take your personal brand to the next level. So check it out, trainingwithaj.com. So let's talk about like how to reprogram your subconscious mind. Uh, we just moved into this this new place. It's a, an amazing, amazing place. It's on an acorn and a quarter. We have beautiful trees. Um, really, really like this place. And when we were buying this place, when we were checking it out, we had the real estate agent. We came over, checked it out. It was like 2 p.m. or whatever when we had the meeting. The train like is about a half mile up the road, and I could hear the train running. And a funny little in insight, like every property my wife and I have bought, and it hasn't been planned this way. But for whatever reason, it seems like we always end up buying these condos or these townhomes or like any real estate investment. That's like, it seems we buy a train. I don't know why that is. And here we are doing another um, real estate investment and boom, lo and behold, it's by a train. Like we didn't even plan it that way, but it just always turns out to be that way. And so it's not that big of a deal, but typically uh, it's like, if I hear the train run, like, you know, like if I go to visit the property and the train runs, then I'm like, oh, cool. I guess the train runs at 2 p.m. So when we're checking out this place, that's what I thought. Train came by at 2 p.m. And I was like, well, I guess that means the train comes by at 2 p.m. So we bought this place. We're here the first night. And I, that train, it runs like every hour and a half. I swear to God. Every two hours is just like I can hear it coming. Just like, yeah, vibrating the ground. The, it's just the train, you know. And some people, they say like trains are very soothing. And they say you get used to it. Well, we've been here for two weeks now, I believe, going on three weeks. And the first week, I definitely was not used to it. And coming into the second week, there was a part of me starting to resent this train. I'm like, why does this train have to run all of the time? And I was doing some breathing work on last Friday. And during that breathing work, the train ran. And I had a thought. Like before this thought, I was like, this, I'd hear the sound of the train. And I'm like, this train it's so noisy. Why can't it be quiet? I just want some peace. I want some space where there's no noise because I, I like nothing. Like I like absolutely nothing. It's very refreshing to me. And so here's this train with noise. Well, when I had this thought during my breathing exercise, when I, I heard the train, the new thought was rather than like angst and turmoil, I saw the train in a different light, which was, man, Look at this train. It is so committed to serving people. Like it's so committed to serving people. So now like every time I hear the train, the thought in my mind isn't like, oh, that fucking train. No, every time I hear the train now, I'm like, man, what an unstoppable force for service. Like that train every 90 minutes, every two hours, like legitimately 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that train is running, like hauling shit to and fro, to and fro, to and fro. And I'm like, man, what an unstoppable force for service. And in the doing of that belief, not just like with the mindset decision, like in my mind, but in my heart and soul, like really at the full on embodiment of 
that reframe, my subconscious was just like, boom, rewired. For now, I can sleep and I don't really hear the train like my body's getting used to it. But if I do wake up hearing it, I'm not like, oh God, it's waking up me up from my sleep. I'm still in that place of, man, what an unstoppable force for service. That is so inspiring. I want to be like that train. I want to be that unstoppable force for service. Now, I know this sounds like a crazy example, but this was actually pretty revolutionary to me. Because we, if we take this into like just our everyday life, our everyday way, our everyday way of being and doing, like we're going to encounter things that are going to trigger us, and if we can objectively observe the trigger, maybe we can create a new belief about that trigger. Maybe we can, and it's not just like a, a reframe, like it is a reframe a bit, but it's more than a reframe. Maybe like we can have like a full on embodiment and start really like asking ourselves like, man, what, what good is this thing doing? Rather than how is this harming me from my current perspective? Like really objectively just looking for like, how is this serving me? Like what good is this thing doing? And maybe from that objective place, we can have a different perspective. And from that different perspective, it can start creating different thoughts. And those different thoughts can give us the opportunity to start creating and stirring some different feelings in our body. And when we start creating these thoughts and feelings consistently and conjuring them up and stirring them up in our body, like we really are reprogramming our subconscious. We're rewiring the workings of our brain, right? So I don't know what triggers you have going on in your life, but my invitation for you today is to like really Look at your triggers objectively and how could you reframe them into something that's going to serve you or serve as a reminder of a path for good, a path for service, a path for love. And how might that trigger become a trigger for like full on like goodness and like freedom and fulfillment rather than serving as like a drain (laughs) to like your life. So my friend, that's all I have. This is going to be a quick Sunday sermon today. And uh, I hope this like just a little quick, little personal story um, is getting you uh, fed today, nourished today, and just kind of open up a new way for you to start thinking about and responding to different scenarios in your life in a more positive, empowering way. If this inspired you in some way, I would love to hear about it over on Instagram. Simply take a screenshot of you listening to this episode on your device and then share it over on Instagram stories and then tag me at AJ Amix. And uh, we can keep the conversation rolling over there on Instagram stories and in the direct message inbox. So thank you so much for being here, my friend. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. Well, that's all I've got for this episode of the Anthony John Amix podcast. But we have plenty more to help you become unstoppable in life and business. So head on over to AJAmix.com for exclusive resources, information, and tools to help you break through to a new level of freedom, purpose, and success. I look forward to having you back for the next episode. Bye for now.